So I'm out here with um, George from Autonomy. Uh, this is our one of our parking lots in Beverly Hills High School. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Ricky Lee, produ uh, producer of the Fantastic Show. So uh, we actually have a demo, right? Yes. So uh, the point A is set over there with with the car. Can you move the camera? Thank you. <laughs> I was going to use some. And uh, th that car, the demo car, will uh, come here and pick us up. And it's going to drop us off at point C. And that's actually, the cool part is that you can actually choose the, the, the destination point and the, 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 the other point on the your phone. Point. Yeah, the ending point on your phone. So let's try it out. I got this demo app of autonomy. So we got the pickup location and destination set up. So I'm gonna press the next step and request autonomy and the class vehicle. Just set it up for, for beta version right now. And uh, yeah, let's just wait for it. Let me know when you're ready, okay. So next step, request, searching for a driver. And now, that car's coming. There you go. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna wait for the car. So, so there you go, the car's coming. All right. I'm gonna go to the passenger seat. Uh. Right. Hello, Juan. What's up? Doing pretty well. All right. Nice. So it's gonna. And then it's gonna move to our uh, next point, which is a destination, right? Mm -hmm. Then it will it'll, uh, repair itself. It will it'll get back on track on its own. Okay. Um, I'm ready. Yeah. Do you want me to order it on the phone or just? No, okay, cool. Let the first object first. Yeah. So it breaks here because it has that radar and mm -hmm. says oh. that. That's why it's always breaking and the same from the end. Okay, so now it's trying to go over there, mm -hmm. right? And I'm gonna tell it to go that way, and hopefully, uh, see? Wow! wow. <laughs> That's cool. Power Vader. So the objects are set actually for highway high speeds. That's why uh, it's breaking. That's why it's breaking so often, yeah. Because so you can see the range. Too far away from the object. If I, if I tell it to go this way, then it will steer again. Go that way, I hope. No? Oh. It will continue to break like this. Oh, and it's gonna avoid the object and it's gonna move to, yeah. to a different direction, right? Yeah. But the object. Uh, yeah, but it's too far now. Yeah. Oh. The distance is set for uh, highway, high speeds. Oh, I see. Okay. Can you shut it down? Yeah, yeah I already shut it down. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you want to do that again, or? Uh, I think I that know. was good. That was pretty good. good, right? Yeah, we, we, we also need the, the sensors, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And then, uh, where should we have? I think we can have, I can park the car here, mm -hmm. and it can see like these cars, and it can see the pedestrians as well, right? Okay. What do you think? So we just show them how it sees. Yeah. We don't need to be in the car for this. Um, I'm not going to shut down actually. Your engine. Yeah, this is the the push button for if something happens, mm -hmm. and you know you have to disengage the system you press this and it's disengaged and then this is a controller for all the sensors so you have by wire is basically what controls um, the braking the acceleration mm -hmm. the steering lumina is one of the computers in the back mobile eye is the scanner on mm -hmm. top that i'll show you oh no sorry mobile eye is this 
this actually gives us information about lanes and lane markings and um, uh, traffic signs, uh, pedestrian crossings, that mm -hmm. sort of stuff. Uh, the VLP is actually the, uh, the laser radar on top. Mm -hmm. ESR is the radar in the front. So if I if I press this and I shut it down, it's not going to detect anything. So this is basically just a control unit. Um, and then yeah, you have the GPS. And PX2 is that NVIDIA thing and the monitors. Um, shall I bring out the monitor from the back to, to have it here so they can see better? Or are oh, you going to film this? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, the monitor is here? here? I thought, uh, let me yeah. just grab this. Mm -hmm. This is what we actually use for it. Oh, that's better. Yeah, exactly. Like you can see. Yeah. Yes. Let me. So car, car. Mm -hmm. It's trying to see these lanes. See, it's trying to make mm -hmm. a pattern out of these yeah, lanes. Can you get in front of the car? Yeah, just go in front of the car. It's, yeah. it's going to detect you. Yeah. yeah. So you see, pedestrian, Ooh. pedestrian. <laughs> And then right here, as I said, it's trying to, you know, establish a pat pattern for the lane markings. Yeah. Um, so as you would move, this is... I, I can go in the front as well, if you want. So if there's, if there's like, a legit lanes, it's going to detect, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. And also, can you show us the, the sensors the front, yeah. up up on the roof and yeah. the front? Yeah. see, see that. This, this thing keeps falling off. Oh, we don't really use this right now. Um, so this is a LiDAR. So basically scans the environment 360 degrees. How far does it go? Uh, I think 100, no, 300 feet, so 100 meters or 75 meters, something yeah. like that. Um, but you see him moving around the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then it tells you that this is a vehicle right here, right in front of it. Again, this helps us with the lanes as well, um, but it's not as accurate as the camera and as, as this. And we have a camera here as well. So we have one, two, three cameras just just in here. So it's radar and radar system, right? Yeah, we have a radar in the front. You don't see the output from that, mm -hmm. but um, we get it in the program. So mm -hmm. we get the distance to, to oh, the object. And then this actually tells you uh, 7.8, I'm pretty sure that's feet, because that mm -hmm. can't be meters. Um, but that tells you as well, you know, there's a vehicle, or... Let me go in the front to see, to show you how it's... Mm-hmm. Yep, pedestrian. Come on, you should say these. Yep, this yeah. pedestrian right here, and the radar is picking it up. Also, a pedestrian right there, like one of our cameramen right there. And it says, this shows the distance in the feet. And also labels other obstacles in front of us. Which is extremely... It's really cool. It's really cool. You can zoom in a little bit if you want. Um, um, that looks cool. That's so cool. See how much you can see. Are there other green uh, markings people too? Is that the, the main building? That's the biggest. Mm. Oh, that's the village? Yeah. Wow. So you can see that far. You can go in if you want to. That's how far it gets. Yeah, so you see how small he is over there? Mm, yeah. <laughs> And this is not the most powerful LiDAR that we we can have. So there are some that are four times as powerful. Ah. So, but they're ten times as expensive. Like. But this this <laughs> this um this part can also handle level five. No, it's uh, level four. It's level four. So I'll show you the GPS antennas on the back as well. Um, for level five, you get precision up to a centimeter. Mm. Uh, from the GPS antennas, this is up to three centimeters. So those, you know, that can count. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the the whole system is pretty much level four, and even the Google cars right now they're up to level four. Nothing. Level five is basically you don't even have a steering wheel. Oh. So, 
you know, uh, you can start the car from a mobile phone and it comes wherever you are. Right now, for us, the, the car is on, but it's in parking, so it changes gears automatically, as you've seen, from park to drive. And then when it's waiting for you to get in the car, it's again in parking, it's waiting for 20 seconds and then it goes off. Um, we also did work on the lane recognition and obstacle avoidance, but it's too risky to go on the streets right now for like it's not you know fully ready. And as I was saying in the show, what we're doing here is not entirely the focus of our technology. The technology is more, more how this car can exchange information with a with another car. So let's say you have a police vehicle, you know, it has to tell a self-driving car to get out of the way so that it can go, you know, past and. Yeah. So we're connecting on the, the, the connections, not the, the actual technology. You know? Yeah, but we had to build this as well because no one would, you know, give us access to it. Right. And also because we have to understand very well how the car works. Mm. Um, are you going to show them the lane? Uh, yeah, I okay. have a laptop now. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> show them the lane recognition, what he's been working on. Um, This obviously we only use it for development, so yeah, you know, we would work on it and then we want to test it because it's a bigger screen. These ones in the back um, are just for the passengers in the back to see what's going on, basically. But yeah, what he's going to show you is like the latest in, in uh, what we've worked on. This is just a demo. Like I got from the internet. So he took a video from the internet mm -hmm. and his task was to recognize the lanes. Oh. So he's he's running his algorithm on top of the video feed to see if he can recognize the lanes, right? Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah, so the green is where he can go. And you know, we check if that's accurate, you know, is that how you would drive and yeah. you know that, that's correct. You can also show them the one with the very tight corners that we can, we haven't solved yet. <laughs> we'll show you a challenge that we, we can't solve yet, but we're getting there. Uh, so you see this one? Yeah, yeah. It's got tight corners and it's got a bit yeah. of speed and it's not recognizing it fully. Mm. So this is not fully, you know, operational yet. And what, what, why is that though? Because it's taking turns uh, oh, a little constant. bit too fast yeah. mm -hmm. and constant, and that's we need to account for that basically. Okay. Mm, because of the shadows, yeah, it changes the, the pixels shadows. and the colors. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Basically, this image I did uh, black and white. Mm -hmm. So depending on the lining on on those colors, mm -hmm. it, it can change. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh. That's nice. Yeah. So now why don't we go to the exterior and get the so the sensors? So, so um, we're at the exterior with with all those the sensors slash modules up there. So can you explain more about the the sensors up there? Sure. So we have um, over here we have a, a lidar, which is basically um, radar with laser in it. So uh -huh. it's got 16 lasers that constantly spin. Um, and it gathers up to 300,000 points per second. So it scans the environment and it gives us the distance to any object, no matter the weather. So it doesn't matter if it rains, if it's snowing, it doesn't matter. Uh, so it's using lights from the, laser, uh, from the lasers to measure the distance to any object. This is really useful and almost all self-driving vehicles would have at least one of them. So if it was like snowing, for example, would it detect like the snow falling? And you can calibrate it uh, at what precision you want it to read. Okay. But yeah, theoretically you could see the snowflakes if you want to. Yeah. Uh, but you can also calibrate it so they ignore that those small particles. So if you have an insect, you know, flying towards you on the freeway, the car won't stop because yeah. it senses it's, 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 Yeah, that, that's a major. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's good. That's, that's good. A, so you want to yeah. ignore those little. Things, yeah. yeah. Um, and then right here at the back, we have um, two GPS antennas. Uh, these are level four uh, GPS antennas, mm -hmm. so level four autonomy out of five. These, uh, those two, pinpoint us within three centimeters anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. So they connect to, I think, 24 uh, satellites at one time, 
and that helps us get a very good precision um, of the car where it is in its environment. I see. And then uh, let's move on to the front. Yep. The front here, we have a. This is an ESR, um, a Delphi radar. Uh -huh. So this uh, beams out to a thousand uh, feet, mm -hmm. about 300 meters away. So it gives us information of what's really in front of the vehicle. Uh -huh. For a really uh, level five autonomous vehicle, you would have these or smaller versions of these on the sides of the car as well, or maybe at the back. Oh, I see. Um, and then over here we have four different uh, cameras mm -hmm. so we have one of one over here uh, this is one of the most important ones um, together with this one we we read um, lanes we read traffic signs we read um, uh, pedestrian crossings um, you know stop signs traffic lights even everything uh, this does a lot of the work for this and there's another one on the on the other side they do a lot of work for uh, object recognition mm -hmm. and measurement of the distance to that object. I see. And they basically can show us, like you've seen in the, on the display, mm -hmm. if it's a pedestrian in front of us, if it's a car, how big it is, you know, if it's a truck. Um, they can also read traffic signs, so we can uh, do what's called uh, sens sensor fusion. Mm -hmm. So we fuse all the information from all the sensors, and that gives us a better picture of what's going on around the car and if, um, if the car needs to slow down or stop, wow. like it did in, uh, in one of the demos. So, and um, uh -huh. that's pretty much it, yeah. So we got the, we got the sensors and we did the demo, uh, which, which actually picks, up, picks you up and drops you off. And yeah, uh, that, that was pretty much it for the, the entire system. But the, the most important, but, the, but the most important part is that autonomy is not just focusing on this technology, but they are con also uh, working on the connections, right? Yeah. yeah. So based on blockchain systems, it's it's all connected now. It's all the all the matter of connections. So um, George, any um, further? plans or any anything you want to achieve? Is there sure, so in the next uh, few weeks we're going to deploy on the actual public roads mm -hmm. um, a deep vehicle, an electric vehicle for doing autonomous deliveries. Mm -hmm. So no passengers but we will transport packages, food and that's pending a, an approval from the DMV. So we've uh, applied for a permit mm -hmm. and if the technology is ready um, hopefully in a few weeks, maybe beginning or mid-January, we wow. can do um, some autonomous deliveries around LA. Okay, so so if we if if you have any updates, please let us know so we can we can also do another demo, uh, so we can keep uh, the viewers also updated, and that that'll be a great opportunity. So thank you so thank you so much, George. Thank I appreciate you very it. Much. Thank and you. I'm I'm Ricky Lee, your producer. And come on, Juan. It's, I'm it's the host, Juan Kalala. <laughs> and he's the host, Juan Kalala. This is the Wontastic Show. Thank you for watching. Adios. Thank you.